Today, we will differentiate movements of the pelvis from the movements of the head. Please come to sit in front edge of the chair or a stool and begin to tilt your head up or back and look upward onto the ceiling or a wall in front of you. And then tilt your head down, allow your whole spine and back and pelvis to move. So you look up and you look down. Begin to drop your head down and look down and then lift your eyes and lift your chin and look up. And pay attention how much of your entire skeleton is moving. Are you moving only in your neck or are you allowing your back, your middle back, your lower back, perhaps even pelvis? Is your pelvis tilting forward and back? Is your abdomen protruding forward when you look up and pulling in, sinking your belly in as you drop your head down? Make a mental marker when you look down. What can you see easily? And then as you look up, what can you see easily? That's not asking how much you can push yourself, but what's the easy range for you? Make a mental note. You can see something on the ceiling and maybe you can see something on the floor or on your body. Perfect. Now we're going to differentiate movements of the pelvis from movements of the head. Drop your head forward and down comfortably, only within the range that feel easy. And now, while your head is hanging down, allow your pelvis to tilt back and to tilt forward. Move your pelvis forward and back within the range of ease while the head is hanging. It's an interesting thing because most likely you feel that as the pelvis pushes forward, your head wants to spring up. But consciously, keep your head down. In other words, you differentiate movements of your lower back, your pelvis and your hips, from your spine of the neck and upper back. Neck and upper back remain flexed, meaning forward bent, while the lumbar region is arching and bending. Move only with an easy range, simply. Exhale as your pelvis goes back. Inhale as your pelvis goes forward, your belly gets full. Very good. Come back with your head to the horizon, your eyes on the horizon. Rest for a moment. And do the original movement. Lift your head up, allow the pelvis to tilt forward. And tilt your head down, allow the pelvis to go down. Now, integrating movements of the upper spine with movements of the lower back and the pelvis. Most likely, you will find an improvement of original movement. Remember your markers, what you could see easily at the beginning of this session. Perhaps you're moving within a greater range and with greater ease. Thank you. Stop and rest a moment. As you're resting, take a breath in and breathe out, letting go. In breath to your belly, out breath, letting go, relaxing. The next differentiation may be a little bit more challenging. Please do this, but only within a range that feels easy. This time, your neck and upper spine will be tilted back, 
it will extend so your chin is a little bit up toward the ceiling and while the neck is hanging like this go back to the movements of the pelvis of tilting backward rounding your lower back and tilting forward arching the lower back within the range of ease your head and neck remain in backward bending but only within the easy range. Maybe it's just a half an inch or a quarter of an inch of chin being above the line of horizon. Your abdomen is protruding forward between your thighs when you tilt your pelvis forward. Your abdomen pulls in as your pelvis tilts back. Remember, the success does not depend on number of repetitions or the size of movement. The success depends on your ability to sense yourself in movement, experience movement fully. Stop, bring your chin back to neutral position and do the original movement of tilting the head up and tilting your head down, now integrating your entire spine, including your pelvis, including your hips, including your ribcage, looking up and looking down. See if the movement became easier. Also feel as you learning to bend your spine backward and bend your spine forward, you also learn where the middle is where is the place where you feel upright and effortless this completes this session thank you very much